You see, responsible people always try to blame their predecessor for their problem. When we came into office in 2009, we met Ghana Commercial Bank was on the brink of collapse. And the reason was because of tall debt. And that debt was about 1.5 billion. We didn't spend our time blaming the MPP. We faced that problem, resolve it. And today, Ghana Commercial Bank is one of the most thriving banks in the country. Not one person lost a job. So when you have a, a bunch of incompetent people who have nothing to do, who know nothing to do, all they do is to talk plenty. What they do constantly is to constantly blame the previous government for their problem. Forget about them. Amazingly, Nana Kufuado keeps commissioning so many of the staff that are in the Green Book. I mean, what does that tell you? You can't, you can't take these people serious. That's really what it is. Because if you are talking about Green Book being Photoshop, and yet you are busy commissioning, look at it today. The finance minister was actually mentioning the, the a, a flight to WA as one of the achievements. I mean, can you imagine? These guys, they have no conscience. A, a flight to WA, an investment that has been done by your previous government, you are calling that one of your achievements? And the same way they can talk about uh, the end of Doomsaw as one of their achievements. I mean, are these guys serious? The end of Doomsaw. Before they came into office, Doomsaw has been totally solved. But today, the boast that they came, I mean, it's, a, it's terrible. For me, even though it sounds funny, it's a tragedy to have a group in power that absolutely has no, no what you call, uh, capacity to tell the truth. That, for me, is, tra is tragic. You know, when they say one good term, I can understand them. Because it means naturally one good term for family and friends. One good term for cronies. One good term for a small group of people that have taken the country for a ride while they themselves have been enjoying. What the country has seen has been hardship, gnashing of teeth, wailing, a lot of disappointment, jobs that are being lost, roads that are totally collapsed. Accra has become the filthiest capital in Africa. That is what we have seen. So that is not one good term. That is one miserable term, deserve a red card and an exit. That's why we say bye-bye to them.